hello my friends this is Janie welcome back if you are a first-time visitor welcome in this video I'm going to share with you my finished yes I finally finished my pink peppermint Christmas journal I feel like I have been working on this journal for a good long while but I was determined to finish her up this weekend so that I can pack away my Christmas bin and move on to my next project. So first, let me move her to the side and let me share with you the paper pad that I used. This is by Craft Smart. It is a hot buy that I picked up from Michaels and it is called Sugar and Sparkle. It is a very pink, super pink <laughs> themed Christmas pad. I saw this. I loved it. I loved that it was non-traditional colors. I loved that it was pink. And I just was so inspired by it that I knew I wanted to make a journal. And then I found this amazing pink fabric from I think it was Spoonflower and I will link this video where I share the fabric in fact I'll put up a card right here so that you can go check that out and I will also put up a couple of more cards where I share the progress at various stages um, when I was making this journal and I also in those other videos share the name of the digital kit as well as links to the digital kits that I use to um, finish this journal so uh, definitely be on the lookout for those cards they'll be going up here somewhere throughout the video I am also going to link Diane H and her Etsy shop pretty pink cottage in my information bar down below because a lot of the vintage um, ephemera papers um, lace uh, slide mounts that I used in this book I purchased from her shop and her shop is really cool she does a lot of thrifting she goes to a lot of flea markets she finds some amazing things and she puts them in her shop so for those who don't have access to you know flea markets or to um, any market where you can find anything vintage definitely check out her shop and also she's a really cool cool person she does a lot of um, drunk journaling on her um channel and i watch her all of the time she posts consistently at least three times a week so definitely check her out if you are into junk journaling because she is a great source of inspiration now all that out of the way let me share with you my lovely lovely pink peppermint christmas journal i'm super pleased with the way that it turned out she is a little thick though I ain't gonna lie, she's a little thick. <laughs> and that is totally my fault. Of course it is, right? I'm the one who made it. I think I went a little overboard with um, the embellishments and um, the lace. And so even though it is only two signatures, she is pretty thick. And only will get thicker um, when I start to fill her up. Come... Christmas 2020 but is what it is it's my journal I'm okay with that and I will deal with it so the spine also has a dangle charm and I've shared this before um, these are items from my stash this I did not make this was made by the super talented Atelis Crafts she has a YouTube channel, um, but she also has um, an Instagram account, and it's on her Instagram where she posts all of the clay charms that she makes and sells. So that's where I spotted this beautiful pink Santa and knew I had to have it because it matched my journal and my fabric perfectly. So lucky for me, I was able to get it. 
and now super happy that it is a forever part of the dangle charm that is on my journal i don't have a permanent closure on this journal instead what i'm using for now is some pink ribbon and it might stay that way forever i'm not sure it depends on how much thicker this book gets if it gets any thicker uh, thicker i don't think any type of permanent um closure it on the book is really going to make much sense i might just stick with the ribbon i love the ribbon i just think it looks like really pretty really really soft really feminine i love it love it love it right so that is what i used to close the book as i said the inside of the book is two signatures the signatures are made up of um, digital downloads um, some of my own um, ephemera and um, laces and whatnot so i will i'll do a quick flip through and um as i said in my other videos i mentioned the digital kits that i've used so you will forgive me if i don't mention them again in this video because quite honestly i don't remember them all but if you have any specific questions um or would like to know the name of something in particular uh, leave a question down below and I will do my best to get back to you. So the inside, I constructed the cover using um, some chipboard Tyvek and this beautiful fabric. I lined the inside of the journal with some of the paper from the paper pad. And I put some um, corner metal corner tabs um, just because I think it looks pretty. It looks finished. I love that. Something that's a little different for me too is um, um, where I made the holes for the signatures, I reinforced those holes with some eyelets. And I love, love, love the way that looks. I think it looks super clean. It looks just, it looks professional. I love it. It looks finished. So I think this is going to be a um, forever for me in terms of, you know, how I'm going to construct my journals moving forward. I'm going to use that same out eyelet method to reinforce those holes. My signatures are secured to my book using a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Why? Because that's the only way I know how to do it. I know other people do fancy stitches. I don't know how to do them. This is all I know, a three-hole pamphlet stitch. So maybe I should start watching YouTube videos and learn more, but that's all I know and it works for me so I'm not going to fix it because it ain't broke <laughs> so let me share with you um, the signatures and I'm just I'm gonna move quickly because I don't want this video to be super super long I used um, this the digital download some lace or I should say ribbon and lace um, to decorate the front page of the first signature i don't know if you'll pick up the shine the sparkle but i use one of my i think it was my might have been spectrum noir sparkle pen or um i don't know the name of this one i don't know the name of it's one of my sparkle pens i have like a whole cup full of them just to give some 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 glitter without you know a glitter feel without actually having glitter this is paper from that same paper pad i have pockets throughout my signature and in the pockets i put some of the cut aparts from that same paper pad this was part of a digital download um a journaling kit i think it was called pink peppermint I forget who it's by. As I said, it's linked in my other videos, so definitely go check those out. This is some paper from a bundle I purchased from Diane, some vintage paper. I think it's like an old um, Christmas theme book that um, she graciously put parts of in her shop. 
And, you know, this is just my own stamping. I inked all the edges using some pink um, Distress Ink. I think it's called Picked Raspberry, maybe, was the name of it. This um, little foiling detail I put there myself using the We Are Memory Keeper foiling pen, which is awesome. Highly recommend. Here we have just a little scrap of a vintage handkerchief with some lace detailing around the edges. Um, it's just such a beautiful handkerchief. I and the, the lacing, the lace detail is just so pretty. I did not want to throw that out, so I saved even the itty bitty little scraps just to put them throughout my book. More stamping. Um, here we have some lace. The, these are the slide mounts that um, I made. Um, I think I did a two-part video where I shared this process. And I will put up a card for the first part right here. And then um, you can follow from there to the other videos. So what I did was I used them to create tabs in my book. Added a little bit of... Um, lace detailing there this is um i believe a vintage christmas card that i also got from diane i cut it and put it in my journal in such a way where it flips up and creates a nice little journaling spot right there added some super bright pink lace this is more of that gold foiling using my we are memory keeper pen this is just some standalone paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning. On the back of it, I did add a little fabric flip. You can see more of that beautiful vintage handkerchief right here. Isn't she beautiful? It's gorgeous. And um, look at the um, detailing around the edge. It's beautiful. So I used that to create a little flip. This is... Um, some vintage lace right here. These are all from Diane's um, shop. This is just some gingham ribbon, not vintage. Doily, more papers, vintage papers that I got from a bundle I purchased from Diane. This is part of that um, kit. So is this. This is part of the ephemera that I purchased with the kit. This is a cut apart from the paper pad. On the other side, uh oh, something fell off here. I think right here. That's okay. I'll glue it on later. This is um, a tag that I received from. I'm sorry, I forget who. I'm so sorry. I wish I could remember, but um, I I put it to the side after I received it because I knew I would use it in this journal. Here's another tag that I created using some more of that standalone paper. This is coffee stained paper. Stained it myself, so proud, so proud. <laughs> um, just added a little flag here that I created using some paper from the pad, some washi tape. I try to use a little bit of everything. Here we have some Christmas um, music sheets, also from Diane's shop. This card I received in some Happy Mail, so um, decided to include it in my book. Created a little pocket here, added a tag. Created this envelope. In the center of each signature is an envelope with a magnet. Can you hear that? Magnetic closure. And in there, I added all of these smaller bits of just ephemera and other things that um, I would probably use when I start filling this book. And I wanted some place to store them for now because if I store them separate from the book, I will lose track of them. And then when I start using the book, I'll go crazy trying to find the ephemera that's supposed to be with the book. So how do I um, resolve that problem? And save myself that crazy episode down the road. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. If I created the signature. It has an envelope in the center. And in that envelope. You will find all the little extra bits. To help finish the book down the road. 
okay and i just like the magnetic closure because why not another pocket here this is some vintage christmas wrapping paper that i cut apart i fussy cut i should say to create some different ephemera and this was part of that wrapping paper some more cut aparts this is a vintage christmas tag that someone scanned and then sold as a digital kit i purchased it and fussy cut all of the um tags so i cut them out so you'll see them throughout my book this is also a digital download i think this is from it's either nick the booksmith or mrs cogs i forget which but check out those other videos this is some vintage lace from diane's shop Here's some more vintage lace. This is another digital download. You get the point. I put a little bit of everything in here. Created a pocket here. Love this. This is just, this is part of a pack of these journaling cards. Um, all Christmas themed that I picked up from Tuesday morning way back when. And I'm finally getting around to using it. So I threw some of those in my book. Okay, I love this um, paper clip. It's super heavy metal paper clips. Is Mary Xmas use that to just attach a journaling card? This is the other side of that um, vintage Christmas card. Another one of my tabs that I created. Isn't it pretty? Look how pretty. Looks really pretty. Happy with the way that turned out. And here's the other side. I bought those slide mounts from Diane's shop. Um, and when you get them, they are just plain um, off-white. And I altered them. So here we have a little tag. This tag was actually give, gifted to me this year by Lady J Crafty. Um, lucky for me, it was pink. So I decided to put it in my journal. Um, here's more of that um, vintage wrapping paper, Christmas wrapping paper that I fussy cut, this little um, train. And then the back of this signature, I just added a pocket to store any extras that I might have when I start filling this book. And inside is just this little kind of journaling um, book that uh, I created. I will probably move that into the main, uh, one of the main pages at some point, but for now she sits there and she's happy. She's found her home. <laughs> so, and the back of the signature, that's, I just added a little banner with some lace trim. I leave at least half an inch between my signatures. So there is plenty of room for growth. Okay, um, second signature, more lace, more of those digital downloads, inside pocket, some more tags, vintage lace, vintage lace, beautiful, love, 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 love. Now, a lot of the digital kit I printed onto some dyed coffee paper, so that's, you know, why it looks, um, age the way it does another one of those tags here I had um, a misprint on one of the pages I was printing from the digital kit I did not want to waste it so I just used parts of it um, uh, throughout my book so that's what this is um, it printed nicely in this towards the center of the print but for whatever reason the beginning and end of the print was just really bad but i was not going to waste it because it was on dyed coffee paper coffee dyed paper i should say and that was a labor of love me making that paper so i was not going to put that in the trash here we have some little tags or banners that i made some washi a little tuck spot right here doily tag tag is pretty very pretty 
another fabric flip. This is all of the paper in here, with the exception of the digital kit and the coffee dye paper. All of the other papers I got from a bundle I purchased from Diane. Then Tuck Spot. This is another one of those um, downloads, digital downloads of the vintage Christmas tags. More of those um, Christmas sentiments. This one I kind of did a rough tear around the edges and put some scraps of that vintage handkerchief that I had left over. I really try not to waste that kind of stuff because it's just so cool. And it adds texture, which I'm a big fan of. Here's another one of those envelopes. Magnetic in the center of the signature with some more um, bits and pieces that I will probably use when I start filling it. And in this one, I actually took the time to decorate the inside flap of the um, envelope. Not sure why I didn't do that for the other one, except that I must have been lazy at that time. It happens, you know, you start off strong and you just, you know, your sail starts losing wind. And all of a sudden, you find yourself paddling just to get to the finish line. But <laughs> I did get it done and I'm super proud I finished it. Um some super bright pink trim with some washi tape here we have another flip um this i created using one of the tags from uh, the ephemera that i bought to go with the kit here i just wanted to do kind of a, a little flip out uh, i found this pink paper in the box the bundle that i purchased from diane and it was really pretty nice pale pink paper I'm not sure what it's like really thinly lined paper but it's perfect i used it to create a book a little flip out created a little tab just because you know it's different cut apart this image i i cut out of the um, new yorker magazine i had a subscription subscription just expired and i'm not renewing it but um while i did have it um i was going through the magazines and cutting out all kinds of images to create ephemera and i found this image so why not little pocket there this is a two tier pocket that I created using one of the downloads from the kit and also a divider card that I purchased from Diane. More of that washi tape. Just threw a little tag up there somewhere to journal. This is really cute. This is another one of those um, vintage Christmas tags. Doily banner love the way this actually this little flip turned out here i had this big beautiful um vintage lace crochet lace from crochet trim from diane and the center of it was it was um it was incomplete um so i cut it out and i put it on the paper and I didn't like the way the center of it looked, so I put this tag on top of it. And now I absolutely love it. Added some other lace trims on it and super happy with the way it turned out. And this envelope, I actually upcycled. It was sent to me um, and I decided to repurpose it. I try to repurpose as much as I can. Um, at the same time, I'm trying not to hoard. <laughs> every scrap of paper that crosses my desk i'm trying to find that balance so um if it's a super small scrap of something i am going to throw it out unless it's vintage then uh, i don't know that i can't throw it out i'll try but i don't know um you know but if it's a bigger piece like this really pretty envelope that i received um i will definitely try to upcycle it into one of my journals here is another pocket and this one i added like a little belly band on the pocket so i have a little space just to tuck little things in there this is again the slide mount that i altered isn't it pretty 
turned out really, really pretty. Super happy with the way that turned out. Some more of that washi tape. My coffee dye paper. So proud of that. You don't understand. I spent a whole day making that paper. And I have to tell you, I recently tried avocados to avocado dye some of my papers. And that was a lot of work. And I must have, I must, I think I did something wrong because the payoff, oof, not worth all the effort. I will share that in a separate video. I don't know. I'm hoping just sitting there, it'll magically get pinker than what it really is. But <laughs> we shall see. Um, the back of the last signature has a pocket. And I just, this is a little... Um, envelope coin envelope that was part of the kit that I didn't get to make or add to anything in the journal as of yet but I figured I can use it when I start completing my journal filling it in in Christmas 2020 so I put it there back of the journal I had this beautiful um super fancy dangly um lace trim that um, I believe, um, no, I don't want to guess who I got it from. I'm not going to guess. I'm not going to guess. But um, I've had it in my stash only a short while and uh, wanted to use it only because I love, look at, I love this. This is so fun to play with those little danglies. So um, that was the end of the second signature. The back of the book has a pocket that um, I created using a library um, pocket and card. And then I also um, just punched a hole at the top here and added some of this fuzzy trim just to um, have some different texture and for fun. And I figured that I will put um, important dates, events, or notes in that one there like when I will start when I start the book when I finish the book and any other important dates that I want so that is the entire book my friend and again I mean she is thick she is she is thick and um I'm glad I'm really really glad that I pushed myself to finish it I really do want um, I just don't want, I want 2020 to be the year that I complete more projects than, um, than I don't, if that makes sense. There's so many times I start a project and I get to a point where I get frustrated, I run out of time, or I don't like something about it, or I get stuck and I walk away from the project. I don't want 2020 to be a repeat of that pattern of behavior. So that's why I was determined to finish this book because I didn't want to start the new year by not completing a project. I wanted to start 2020 by completing my project. So this is the project I was working on when we went into 2020, so I was most definitely going to finish it. So that is my share, my friends. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. My next journal project, I think it's going to be Wizard of Oz. I have finally accumulated enough items. I have fabric. I have paper, um, I have some charms, and I love, love, love The Wizard of Oz. We all know that. I am obsessed. So I am finally feeling the calling, the urge, the desire to do a Wizard of Oz themed junk journal. So I think that is going to be my next journal project. Um, I have a couple of things, more than a couple of things 
um, in mind in terms of other projects. So definitely come back and visit me. If you haven't already subscribed, do that. If you like this, if, if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And um, also don't forget to tap on that notification button. Tap the bell so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. I am going to try and be consistent and have at least one video a week. It tends to post on Sundays just because that's the nature of my schedule. But ideally, I would love to be able to post every Wednesday and Sunday. Right now, we're just going to ease in and do Sundays and go from there. So thank you, my friends. I will catch you all in the next video. Until next time, bye-bye.